Hello guys, it's me Takurun. So what we're gonna do today is dive to the very level 5 of the dimensional hole. And I wanna show you guys what fast safe comb that I use for this run with a 100% clear rate. So I used all my 100 wings for this dungeon using this comb and so far it has not let me down. That's why I can safely assume that it has a 100% clear rate. So let's get straight to it. So since I have like Moron, I use like Moron as for his leader skill. Cause you know, having that 50% extra HP is going to make your comp way more tanky and it's gonna increase the survivability rate of your comp. So, I have my like Moron here, tanky, speedy on Phylon. But you guys don't have to go Phylon, you can always go Swift. But I like mine on Phylon cause it's just more fun to watch you guys. <laughs> uh, and of course the Chasen I use for R5. Goes without saying, has to be speedy and tanky. So it's your Delphoi. Now, I prefer if you run your Delph Delphoi more on the HP than defense. Cause you know, on the third phase of the boss, the boss is going to ignore defense. So HP is always more preferable in this dungeon. I have here Diatna I use for RTA. So of course I had her tanky like Lemron and speedy. See, now do you guys see the pattern? The threat has to be tanky and speedy. Okay? So let's go. Now the key to beat this comp, I mean to beat this dungeon, is of course to know what target to go on the first phase, second phase, and third phase of the boss. So here's what I suggest guys. On the first phase of the boss, go for the Shannon. Cause if you let the Shannon buff up the defense and attack, it's going to make your run way longer and harder than it should be. As for the second phase, go for Belanus. Belanus is the only one threat there that can fuck up your team. Uh, once you let Belanus get a turn, he's gonna provoke all your team, and you're pretty much done for. As for the third phase, go for the front. Don't let the front buff stop attack uh, for the Oberon. So let's go face by face. Now as I said, go for Shannon. See, this is why having Delphoi is so nice guys. Delphoi can shut down one of the trap using the reset. And not only that, her immunity is actually very crucial for the second part of the fight. Now this is the hardest and riskiest stage of the boss. So go for Belonus. Now the boss is going to put Oblivion on you but it's not gonna do shit cause you know, none of your monster has passive. Mm -hmm. So as long as your Delphoi can buff up immunity or reset the Belonus, you're fine. See? <laughs> You can just ignore the water diet. I mean, she's not meta for a reason, guys. <laughs> See? I don't even know what she does actually. I uh, at this at this point, you'd also wanna use this chance to heal up and get ready for the final fight. Cause the boss won't hurt guys, trust me, it won't hurt in this stage. Now here comes the final phase. Go immediately for the front. This is not an Oberon that you see in real-time arena. It's not going to hurt as much. See? Only 16k guys. And even if the boss gets a turn, kill one of your threat, it's still going to give you a win. Cause all you need is just one threat. That's why I recommend using two threats. So let's go again. It would be nice if your Aetna is not gonna derp and you shatter right off the bat. It's going to make the run way faster. Yeah, just like that. And the Lagmaron follows up with... What's the third skill name again? Lightning Strike? <laughs> so if you guys are in a hurry, you may wanna manual it at the beginning of the stage to let your Aetna go shatter. Because uh, Aetna, of course, is going to have the highest leader speed. I mean, highest speed in your in your team. This is why I prefer um, Aetna over Wind Monkey. Because she can do AOE defense break and at the sa same time, potentially stun one of the, one of the threat. Ooh, just look at that damage, guys. 20k from Lagmoron. 
It's enough to almost one shot the Shannon even without the Seattle defense break. Now, if you guys can figure out uh, another comp that is faster and safer than this comp, then feel free to let me know in the comment section, okay? I mean, I tried Tessar, but Tessar only brings damage to the table and I don't really recommend doing that. So yeah, uh, you can use any other leader skill except from Moron. But not Eladriel, okay guys. <laughs> Eladriel is gonna make you run longer, and I'm not even sure if it's consistent. I mean, instead of Eladriel, I think you're better off using other sustain like Chasun or Delphoi. See, the attack break from Macmoron is actually crazy. And look at that, Atna third skill can also uh, take away the attack buff from the boss. And that's it guys, this is the fast and safe comp that you can use to clear this dungeon. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and hit the bell button. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch and Discord, which you can find the link down below.